Hey everyone, my name is Pam. I am the owner, cosmetic formulator, and soap maker behind my brand, Lather and Soul Skincare. I make all of my products in house for my own formulas. So today I am making my foaming body polish. A body polish is basically a scrub, but I like using the word polish because it sounds a little extra fancy. At any rate, my body scrub formula has gone through several iterations over the years and I've landed on my final formula uh, maybe two or three years ago and I absolutely love this formula. Now I know there are a lot of bases out there, but I personally don't like to use bases in my brand. I really like to have control of every single ingredient that goes into my products. Plus I really try to buy fair trade ingredients and organic ingredients whenever it's accessible to me. So my formula contains a variety of different gentle surfactants, a lot of glycerin, and then a lot of really nice nourishing ingredients like cocoa butter, shea butter, avocado oil, pumpkin seed oil, and then of course all the extra ingredients you need to keep everything together. And lastly, a preservative because where there is water, there is going to be growth. So you definitely need a preservative, especially where this is a body scrub that will primarily be used in the shower. We definitely want to make sure that nothing disgusting is going to grow in it. So right now I am whipping up part of my base. This has my surfactants, my humectants, and of course some water in there. And the consistency is so smooth. Next, I'm combining it with my melted butters, oils, and my emulsifiers and thickeners. Now to whip it up and get everything combined. And this actually will look like a really yummy buttercream <laughs> by the time that it's done and it looks really edible, but it's not. Now this is actually a half batch for me. Um, actually, no, a quarter batch for me because I just want to make enough to fulfill a wholesale order and I really didn't have time to make my full size batch. Next, add a little bit of vitamin E, and a side note, vitamin E is not a preservative. It just helps prolong the shelf life of oils and butters um, and ward off rancidity. Look at that consistency. Doesn't it look like you want to just lick that? <laughs> Every time I post this in my Instagram stories, people are always thinking that I'm making food. I just think it's so funny. So I just added my preservative. I'm getting that all combined. Time to bust out the big bowl because there's no way all of my exfoliant ingredients are going to fit in that tiny bowl. to fold all the ingredients together. Next step is to fold in the cheese. This is a really good arm workout, but I like to do it this way because I want to scrape in all the sides and make sure a lot of it is already fully incorporated before I go in with my mixer. It kind of has the consistency of cookie dough. <laughs> But I honestly prefer really thick scrubs, not necessarily overly exfoliating, but I like the consistency to be thicker. I don't like when they're too thin and they fall through my fingers before I even get a chance to apply them to my skin. So I just added the fragrance oil and now we are going in with a little bit of ethically sourced mica. When I'm blending, I'm not trying to get a airy, fluffy, whipped consistency. I just want everything to get fully incorporated. It's important to make sure to scrape down the side from time to time because I do want to make sure that all the color is fully incorporated and that I don't have patches where there's color that's not blended in or parts where the color hasn't blended in at all. Since the consistency is so thick, I can't use my filling machine in order to fill the jar, so I just do it manually. Plus, I like to make sure that I press everything down just so there aren't any air pockets. All the jars are always filled by weight, but I don't want anyone to think that it's missing any product if they see any air pockets, so I just smush it in there. I've tried to use a piping bag as well, but again, it's just so thick and it ends up being more cumbersome to do it that way, so I just do it by hand, and this works for me. Now the fun
fun part to add the rose quartz crystals to the top of each scrub. So this is something that you would remove, of course, prior to using the scrub. It's a little trinket that comes in your jar. This scrub also has a matching crystal soap with rose quartz, as well as a crystal infused perfume roller. Every jar is finished with a press and seal liner for sanitation purposes, and this also helps customers and retailers know that the products have not been contaminated. And it's also great for when I do in-person markets because there is always someone who wants to open up the jar even though the tester is in front of it. Now I absolutely love the labels that I have for these. Every jar comes with a matching mantra that corresponds with the crystal so since this is rose quartz the tops of the jar have a little mantra that say I radiate love and compassion because rose quartz is a love stone. Now these labels on the front I worked so hard to design. I also print all my labels from home. I have a specialty printer at home that prints my waterproof labels and also die cuts my labels for this perfect little finish. Stay tuned for a product demo. 